what is going on guys welcome back to the channel today is a eventful day we're kind of working all across the car we're going to put the rear sump on that we picked up and make sure that it will fit back into the car exactly where we want it to second we are going to remove the steering column um, i want to go with a motion raceworks lightweight steering column and then a detachable steering wheel um so that'll be second thing we do then we are going to cut out cardboard templates i sent those off i got them back and then we're going to drill the holes so that we can make our motor mount plates and then i cut some stock and put some angles on it so that we can figure out exactly um, how we're going to cut the square tubing for the solid motor mounts and then I got some new plates coming for actually mounting them to the K member. So we're gonna almost have like an actual factory K member to motor mount setup. And that about does it. So uh, let's get that done and we will see you in the next one. Like and subscribe guys if you haven't already. This build is going to be progressing a little quicker now that we are in the off season. So see you in the garage.
Alright guys, so what we're going to do is we're going to start here in the center. And now that we're just going to tighten it to, I don't know if that was it. A picture? I think that's the clip, but... Yeah. So we're going to go to 78 inch pounds, like the book says, and then we're going to go zigzag all the way till we get to the ends. Alright guys, so I set the camera up inside the car while we removed the steering column. What we had to do in the engine bay was unbolt the column from the rack and pinion. We disconnected those two and then inside the car we just removed every single bolt that was tied to the pedals and the steering column itself so that way we could fully gut all of the sound deadening out. So what we have here are cardboard templates that I made from the old motor mounts that bolted directly on. And what I've done was I set those on the cardboard, I traced them out, and then you see me here cutting them out. And then I gave them to a friend of mine who has a plasma cutter and he was able to zip all those out of quarter inch steel, I believe. And then he brought them back to me. Um, his website is Roland Handmade Goods. You can find them on Instagram. Um, and then you're gonna see us drill the holes we have some new plates that we got from him today that will actually bolt to the K member and then you'll see how we figure our angles out a little bit later in the video. So I'm going to get a piece of steel, really flat stock, and then I'm going to try and figure out, you know, what the angles are going to be for that. So I think that if we have this angle to this angle, um, maybe obviously a little less steep on the one end, but that's a good angle there. 
So once we get that plate, we can make the tubing. You know, it'll be close enough to where we can grind to where we need to. Um, obviously, we need this plate to see exactly how it's going to sit. But once we do that, we have this tubing here that we're going to be able to make our motor mounts out of. So that's a little update on where we're at and what we're doing. 95% of you guys aren't subscribed to the channel if you're watching this video. Um, then I appreciate you sticking with me all the way through it. We've kind of just miscellaneously done some things. But we're going to be getting everything going. We got a bandsaw and we got a new drill press over here. Picked them up on a sweet deal from a friend. Um, we got a track day for the charger on Wednesday. And it's gonna be it's gonna be an enjoyable one. So we'll see you guys in that video. If you haven't already, hit like, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.